I'm here at Zoom King here covering more of your goops. Now, apparently there's gonna be a little trouble with something. If you, yeah, apparently it's less trouble than the forest last week, but this week, the trouble with mud. What a pity. So let's head down to the engine who refused to take wash down because he put his work for his what, hygiene. Eh. Anyway, on with it. Being cleaned when Gordon arrived, mud had blown all over his smart blue paint. Yeah, and you might want to pay attention to that sequence too because it'll literally come into use a bit later on. But in the meantime, we got a couple goofs right now. Out as of right now, we have apparently Gordon's eyebrows have gone missing, and also, oh, his buffers are crooked. Hello, Gordon. Called Thomas. I think there's some paint on the neck. You look as if you've had a mud bath. Be a sensible engine and have a shower instead. Gordon snorted. I haven't time to dawdle over my appearance like fussy tank engines do. <laughs> Looks like you actually do, because the mud actually changed location. <laughs> Wind blew stronger. Gordon, slow down, called his driver. This made Gordon crosser still. Now I'll be dirty and late, dirty and late, he hissed. At the next station was a sign, all trains must wash down daily. James had just finished being cleaned. Come on, Gordon, said his driver. You'll feel better, too, after a good hose down. Yeah, I refuse to do that. There's studio equipment there. And Gordon's eyes are wonky. Bah, said Gordon. I angrily let off steam. You're a very naughty engine, said Gordon's driver. Now Good. James will need another shower. You'll have to wait your turn till later. Good riddance, huffed Gordon. I'm far too busy to waste time with water. I agree. He finished his journey safely and steamed into the big station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. So were Gordon. And apparently, he, Sir Topham Hatt was also trapped in Sticky Tack. His coaches and the passengers. Oh my god, there's quite a bit of people with, with Sticky Tack. Goodness gracious, said Sir Topham Hatt. You can't pull the train. Henry will have to do it. Gordon, you'd better get clean straight away. Gordon was soon being washed. As the camera wobbles. I know, I feel your pain too. Ew, I would never thought I would never have thought a Gordon would ever get a wash down at all. Mind True, they're misaligned. Very, very insensible, is it? He grumbled. Then he pulled cars for the rest of the day. Freight trains, freight trains, he spluttered. He felt his position deeply. That's for you, and you, and you. I'm pretty sure Gordon was missing a brake van in that last scene. Cars will be cars, laughed James. They won't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. James got ready to take the express when Gordon returned. There was studio equipment. Be careful, warned Gordon. The hills are slippery. You may need help. I don't need help on hills, replied James huffily. Gordon thinks he knows everything. Says Mr. Slippery Wheels. Earlier, a storm had 
had swept Gordon's Hill, blowing leaves onto the tracks, which made them slippery. Even though the storm had passed, the hill was still difficult to climb. James knew this. The signal showed clear, and James began to go faster. I'll do it, I'll do it, he puffed. Halfway up, he was not so sure. I must do it, I must do it. But his wheels slipped on the leaves. He couldn't pull the train at all. Help, help, whistled James. His wheels were turning forward, but the heavy coaches pulled him backwards. The whole train started slipping down the hill. His driver shut off steam and put on the brakes. Then carefully, he stopped the train. I think the background of trees are missing in the inside the driver's view. Gordon saw everything. Ah, well, we live and learn. Never mind, little James. I'm going to push behind. Clouds of smoke and steam billowed from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. We can do it, puffed James. We will do it, puffed Gordon. At last they reached the top. Uh, I gotta go back, unfortunately. I think Steam the billows yeah, from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. We can Yeah, James's eyes are slightly wonky. Yeah, I was right. Do it, Puff James. We will do it, Puff Gordon. At last they reached the top. Thank you. Goodbye, whistled James. Boo, boo. I think I know why his face was buried in behind the coaches. His eyes were pretty wonky as well. Answered Gordon. Goodbye. That night, Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines. Gordon was miserable. Please, sir, said Thomas. Can Gordon pull coaches again now? If you understand that having a washdown is essential to every engine, then yes, Gordon, you may. Thank you, grunted Gordon. Dirty. Huh. Man, and Gordon's actually dirty. So he really hasn't learned at all. Oh, what a shock. Very bad morale. Along with the fact that he's wonky eyes. But dirty? You're clean. I'm a famous machine. But no one heard but him. And that's the end of the story. If I missed anything, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please do not have to forget to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single upload. Now, I better get going before James turns into an old man. And catch you guys in the next station. All aboard!